Hi, in this video, I'll show you how you can use Distill's watch list. A watch list is a collection of all your monitors and you can easily access it via the browser extension or your web app. To access it via your browser extension, go ahead and click on the Distill extension that you have pinned on your browser tray and click on go to watch list. This leads you to a view with all your monitors listed. This is the watch list view. In order to access the watch list via your web app, go ahead and click on monitor.distill.io and here you'll be able to see the monitors. The first column in the watch list is the name of your monitor. The second column is the preview of the section that you're tracking on a web page. The third column is the interval at which the checks are being performed on the web page. The column here is the check log of the monitor, which will help you track errors or the latest time at which the check was performed. The last but one column indicates the device on which the monitor is being run. The cloud icon indicates that the monitor is running on the cloud servers. And this icon indicates that it's running on a local device. You can even turn your monitor on and off directly from the watch list by using the on off button. You can use your watch list to perform bulk actions on your monitor. Uh, use the checkbox and once you do use it, you will see a bunch of operations uh, come up here like running your monitor, adding labels, deleting or even importing and exporting your monitors and performing a batch edit. In order to add actions to your monitor, you need not navigate into the monitor. You can directly do it via your watch list. For example, if I want to add an action on this particular monitor, I will click on it by using the caret icon. Here, I will click on add action and choose an alert mode which is suitable to me. These options will depend on a subscription plan. In my case, I'd like to add an email. So I'll go ahead and add that action in. And you can see that the monitor has saved the action. In case I want to delete an action, I can do it directly via the watch list using the same steps as before. But here I will click on the delete button. You can even delete your monitor from the edit options here via clicking on move to trash or delete forever. In order to open the URL that your monitor is tracking, simply click on the name of your monitor. Here I have a monitor that is tracking timeanddate.com. When I click on the name of the monitor, it opens up a new tab which shows me the web page it is tracking, which is timeanddate.com. If I want to check the log on the monitor, I can use this column. If you notice closely, my first monitor has logged an error, hence it is showing NA in red. If I click on the drop down here, I will see the log of checks appear here. If I want to see it in detail, I will click on view details and it will open up a new tab where I can see the error details. A monitor which does not have any errors logged will show me a log like this where the latest check was performed i can see the entire history of checks here you can see last changed on and the check log has recorded a bunch of timestamps if you want to change the frequency of checks on your monitor you need not navigate into it you can use the watch list for this for example this monitor which is tracking a sneaker on night.com is performing checks every five minutes if I want to increase the interval of checks, I can go ahead and click the drop down button next to the uh, time indicator and choose a time that is suitable for me. Here I've increased the checks to one hour intervals. And when I navigate out of this view, you can see that the frequency of checks has been updated. You can even use the watch list to change the device on which your monitor is running. For example, if I want to change this monitor to run on the cloud, I'll simply click here and choose Distills Cloud Servers and you should see that it's updated here. Another important functionality of the watch list is the search function, which allows you to navigate to the monitor you're interested in. We advise you to use keywords that are associated with your monitor name to narrow down on the monitors that you'd like to view on your watch list. 
For example, if I'd like to view the monitor on FOMC meetings, I would use the keyword FOMC and you can see that the view has changed to that monitor which has FOMC in its name. You can also use the labels to navigate through the monitors in your watch list and filter down your view. For example, if I go back to all the monitors in my watch list and I want to only view those tagged to the label sneakers, I will click on the label sneakers here and my view of the watch list is filtered down to only those monitors tagged under sneakers. If you want to view all your monitors, just click on all. It will take you back to your actual watch list view. If you want to see monitors that have unread changes, simply click on unread. You can see that one of my monitor has recorded an unread change. So if I click here, I will be able to see that mo particular monitor. If I want to see monitors that have errored out, I will click on error and it will lead me to a view which has monitors that have errors. You can even look at your monitors that have been trashed or deleted here and you can simply click on them and restore them. Another important functionality of the watch list is the ability to view the change history on a particular monitor. You can simply click here to view the change history and you can see that it shows you the change history recorded with the timestamps. On the left hand side you will see it has recorded changes at this particular timestamp. You can even go ahead and explore the diff of changes here by clicking on explore diff. We have another dedicated video which explains how to view your change history. I will leave a link to it below in the description. Now if you want to turn your monitor on and off, you can use the on off button here. In, in this case, I find this view very cluttering. So if I want to collapse the view of the changes recorded, I will just click back on the preview and it should collapse this change history view for me. I hope this video helped you get an idea of how to use your watch list.